Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Mindfire server. It is episode three, three, three. Let's go with that. I'm, I might be wrong, uh, but we're back uh, right now at our villager breeding thing. That actually doesn't breed anything because uh, we're trying to trade for some more mending books, and I already have one. I don't actually. Oh yeah, we have armor that we got. Put all the mending on that. That's what we need it for. I knew we needed it for something. I just couldn't remember what. So I'm gonna spend some time doing this. But I feel like we should start off today's episode um, with an end busting time lapse because we we really need some stock at the shop. So let's go get started. So instead of actually going end busting immediately, I'm trying to break a hole in the top of the Nether. Um, so. I'm actually watching, actually, one second, I don't know his name. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but here it is on the screen right now. Okay, wait, it, it's totally pronounced Kaizen. Um, yeah, my bad. Let's, let's continue. <laughs> um, so you can go check out his video on how to do this. Um, I, I haven't tested it out yet. I don't know if it's going to work. But he also showed me how to get on top of the, um, ne of the nether top roof. Um, this is how you get on top. So go check out that video if you want, links in the description. Uh, but hopefully this works, cross your fingers. And I don't know why I'm actually surprised by like a lot, but if we just head up these ladders, um, which actually takes a while, so let, let's skip. <laughs> and you just come right up here and turn. Go this way and go this way. I've successfully broken bedrock, which is awesome. And right now there's only a crafting table here. Uh, so. Now that we actually have this, I mean, like, there's only one real thing that we kind of have to do now, and that one thing is make a XP slash gold farm like this, which, as you can see, works really, really well. So I thought that this was actually, um, like, totally destroyed with 1.14.4 updates, and in a way it was because before you could go AFK here for hours on end and these guys would still come after you uh, but after 1.14 you can see that that wave has basically finished but there aren't more guys coming after me but it's not really that big of a deal I mean infinity bow with unbreaking and basically you can just sit here and still get loads of gold you can see over there so why, why not? why not just make it? I think it would be fun um, so the only problem is, I'm gonna go to my notes, actually not my notes, I'm gonna go to, this is designed by El Mingo, if you guys do not know, um, his notes, uh, it takes about, um, seven, uh, not, not seven stacks, I think it takes more, well, a lot, a lot of glass, like a lot of glass, uh, 486 torches, 56 anvils, but those are optional, we'll just replace it later, um, 96 iron blocks, and 29 minecarts that's like the big things um and then four hopper minecarts but that's not a big deal uh so yeah that that's like the big stuff uh but cha, i really want to make it so maybe an iron farm first and then make this but i mean seriously look at my xp look at how much i'm getting right now it's crazy this thing is so op and i so want to make it um, so, yeah, look look forward to that in future episodes, but I think that we should get started on a big old, oh, that hurt a lot, a big old farm, and just start. I, th I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be very, very fun, because I love these farms. I've just never gone around to building a big one. But, I think we should go end busting, finally. Hey, but we actually got diamonds. We got sales which is awesome. I'm gonna take the spare 19 rockets because I'm probably gonna need it for end busting. Also, we have made diamonds from our shop, which is awesome, and that's exactly why we gotta go out and actually do our part and get stuff for us, so don't think I need that much. We need those potatoes for sure. Probably can put our shovel away. Um, take some wood, take some eyes, leave the sand. And we have another redstone box here, guys. Uh, and I don't know if Rails can has redstone, but we're just going to leave it there. And I don't really care about anything else. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. Let's actually go. So in this time-lapse chat, I want to talk about nothing. 
let's just play some DJ Sloth music and just enjoy this very short time lapse. Well, that was definitely successful. We got two Elytra. I was hoping for more, but all the places I, I was at, they didn't have Elytras. Like they didn't have the boat. But I got I got a lot of a lot of shulker shells, so we should be good. I also got eight diamonds. We should go put that in here. And also we can toss this out because we got a protection for one and unbreaking. And don't know what respiration does, but we got that too. Um, and also a few emeralds, which is awesome. So, next next thing I want to do, I kind of want to get started on our house. And you guys still don't really know what our house is all about. So, I think that I should go show you guys what that is really fast. So, our base is actually going to be in the end, which I think you guys already knew. And not much has happened. If we look around, you know, it's like... It, it looks normal on top, which is what it's supposed to look like, except for, you can get rid of all this actually, uh, except for this, and we'll, we'll try to make this a little bit nicer, but as of right now, this is what it's going to look like, and it's, as you guys don't know, this is just a regular elevator, and it goes down, far down to the very bottom, I want to make my base at the very bottom of the end, and I want to use these pillars as like support because they actually go all the way down. Um, so this should be fun. It should be <laughs> interesting um, base. And the reason I'm doing this on the Mindfighter server is because one reason. I've actually been wanting to do this base for a while, but I haven't like been on a server that I've been that has the thing that allows this. And also, like, I knew I was going to ground the out, and that thing is the slash trigger home command. Oh, my bad. Home, home command. So we can set our home in the end, I'm pretty sure, and then we can just do slash home, and we'll go to the end right at our base. So that uh, gets rid of all the another portal and going to finding the end and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, to get started, I'm thinking that the bottom of our base is going to be mostly glass, and that's going to be where our storage system is and whatnot. And it should be really, really cool. So we'll let, let, let's go get started on that. Let's get a shulker box. I don't think I have any shulker boxes. Okay, let me go get one from the store. Now, the reason that I wanted to go get shulker boxes is because we're going to need a lot of glass, so a lot of sand, so another time lapse. Um, so yeah, let, let, let's let's go get some sand. And it's really far to the desert, actually. Like, wowza. Like, this, this is crazy. Huh. And this time last chat is also going to be very, very, very short. Not because I'm going to be doing any music or anything. It's because, as you guys will see in just a minute, I made a very stupid mistake. And basically, I just couldn't... <laughs> I can't collect any more sand. So let, let's go find out what that mistake was. Why don't we... Well, I didn't pay attention at all, and my um, shovel broke. So it looks like we're wrapping up here. We did not even get one full shulker, shulker box. Oh, oh, that's us. Um, but yep, we're gonna have to head home now. So that sucks. Next time we'll have to make sure that has some breaking through. So as I think about it, I feel like it did. Or not. Uh. <clears throat> All right, well, we got some sand smelting up here, but I don't think we're gonna have enough fuel and also it's just gonna take forever. Um, we got some pumpkins growing and whatnot. We got our potato farm up and going. I got another shovel, which is a silk touch from my villager. Uh, but right now I think that I should probably make an egg farm because I, I do want like um, a pumpkin pie farm because pumpkin pie is good. I have um, a small sugar cane farm, but I can make a bigger one, and then I have a pumpkin farm, but I also want to make a big one of those, and pumpkin pie is a great, uh, food source, so l let's go for it. So, there we go. I don't know if chickens can actually, like, escape this, because I did a slab, so I can open this chest, 
But I have seeds and he doesn't seem to be interested, like coming my direction, so I think it should be okay. Uh, but I just took a trip to um, Desert Rose to get some raw cod because she has an AFK fish farm, which I should really get up and going. Uh, but if we head over here, I think somewhere around here, maybe. Where 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 did it go? Oh, there it is, the cat. A oh, stray cat. So I wanna I wanna feed it. I wanna feed it. Make it mine. Come come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're eating the fish. Just just, just love me. Just love me. Yay! We got a cat, and it's adorable. And this isn't Scar's cat, is it? Okay, no, it's not Scar's cat. But he is adorable. Or she. I don't know. I have to get a name tag though to name them. But first, let's try to find some blue dye right here so that we can uh, change his color to blue because I think blue is the best color. So let's fly back and it also matches the little patch by his eye. Where, where, where is he? Uh, there you see the little, the little patch. So just grab this. His color should now be blue. Yay, I'm very, very happy. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go and try to um, actually get some materials so that we can make a shop at the shopping district. Because I got tons of bones, and I mean, like, oh, you know what? There's white dye now, isn't there? So, I mean, like, bones aren't that necessary anymore, but we'll, we'll still try to sell them. Um, yeah, so let's go get some um, grapple so that we can make uh, some concrete. So, I mean, right here seems fine. Right right here. And as you guys probably know, I'm not very good at making shops. So I think I'm just going to go for a big old bone that's kind of square. And then you can walk into it. And then you can get chests full of bones and stuff. So basically what was happening in this clip is I made this. Um, and it does not look anything like this. A, a, a bone. Um, so I explained all that, but the I was listening to music at the time, and I can't copyright music, so I can't use that clip, sadly. I don't know why I was listening to music. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happened in this clip. That's that's it. So update. This is what I have right now, and I'm I thinking it looks pretty good. Now you guys might be wondering how how are we gonna get under here? A uh, little bit of redstone. Basically, a push, uh, a piston's gonna push us down, uh, so that we can fit under the one wide gap, and then we just crawl underneath into the shop. Of course, this is gonna be solid, and it's gonna. I'm gonna try and make it kind of curved-ish, somewhat, but no promises. Um, but yeah, and let me just say, I love scaffolding so much. It's really good. Like I don't, I haven't heard much about it. I don't know how other people are reacting to it but I definitely love it. I think it was a great addition. Um, yeah, l l let me know what you think about scaffolding, guys. <laughs> right, let's take a look. Three, two, one. Um, it's pretty good, I'd say. I can live with that. Hmm. From down here, it looks a little bit odd on the top, but I'm not the best at this. You guys gotta remember that, so think it will work for now yeah let's, let's just finish this <laughs> I've been actually working on this for about um, half an hour an hour and I'm getting a little bit tired of just making an outline so I'm just gonna go for it and if it doesn't turn out too great then it doesn't turn out too great and that's okay it's not that big of a deal it's just a shop after all so how is this looking um I would actually say it's that bad let, let's go home and sleep, um, but I, I don't think it's that bad, bad actually. I think it's halfway decent at least. At least you know that that's a bone, I think. I think that's pretty clear that it's a bone, which is good. Uh, let's just take one more look at it really fast. So I think I'm going to actually do a one outer layer really fast. Uh, that's like a little bit bigger. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get started on that. Alright, so I've done the second layer, and I like it. I actually like it. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so I'm going to do 
it on the other side, I guess. And I do kind of feel bad about where I put this because in a way it's blocking the wool shop. So whoever owns this shop, I am so very sorry. And does it actually say? No, it does not say who owns this. Um, I'm going to offer whoever owns this like a few diamonds because I, I, I do feel kind of bad. Uh, I don't think I have to, but I... I, I I don't mind, honestly. I'll offer them like three diamonds because I'm sorry, because it is kind of blocking their shop. Alright, so I think that the exterior is now all done if we can fly up. I think I made it a little bit too thick, but I'm I I, I don't care. I don't care at this point. I'm just I'm done. I'm done with doing the exterior. It's taking me so long. Um so I think I just have to light it up on the inside a little bit more. Uh and then do the redstone. So I've actually decided that what's going to happen is this block of this block and this block are all actually going to go down once you press the button and it's going to allow you to come back in and then it's going to pop up and then if you press a button in here then it'll all drop down again and whatnot and i'm doing that because i can't hide a piston right here and i can't hide it on the other side I, well actually i can hide it on the other side but still it would look bad out here and i don't want to go like this that's, that's too simple for our shop um, so I think we're just going to have the floor drop down. Alright, so this is what we have. I wish that we had a different color button. I might do birch and st Oh. Oh, that, that, that might look a little bit nicer than stone. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, but if we press this, you'll see that it drops down. We can go inside. And in just a second, we'll be lifted up. Then over here we can press this one, we'll be down, and you can either jump or wait for it to lift you up, either one. Um, redstone, pretty simple, I feel like I could have made it way, 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 way more compact, but I was, I was lazy today, I'll admit it. So, um, that's where it gets powered, it goes down here, uh, into a pulse extender, into a repeater, into a bunch more repeaters, uh, that go into these blocks, unpowering these guys these torches which unpower the pistons which drops you down and then once the power um gets lower and lower and lower and then finally disappears it'll be pushed back up like so um so the only thing that i think is wrong is we gotta replace this with white concrete oh yeah there's also this um if you accidentally stay in here when um, you're supposed to be out, uh, you'll get stuck there and you can't move, which isn't the best, but it's all right. I think, I think we're going to call it there. Um, so I'm going to go put in a few chests and hopefully we can make something, some nice interior, which got lighted up and yeah, that's about it. I'd say cause it's up there. Yeah. We don't want mobs falling on our customers. <laughs> All right, so update. Um, first of all, we got our chicken farm up and going and two escape, sadly, but that was my fault. It, it was the three that hatched and two of them fell out. Uh, but I did get quite a few eggs. I already hatched them all. It was like two stacks of 16, I think. Uh, and then also if we go to spawn and head to our shop, I've done a little bit of AFKing over at the uh, skeleton spawner. And if we press this button, go under, uh, you'll see that we have a few bone blocks up for sale. I'm doing three uh, diamonds for a stack because now people can get white flowers, which is a little bit sad. Uh, and then I'm doing one stack for one diamond for the arrows. I decided to also add arrows because I feel like it'd be dumb not to. Um, and I'm thinking about um, making the uh, arrows a little bit more expensive, maybe. Beep, but I'm not positive about it yet. I might boost up the prices a little bit, but um, let's see if I get sales and if I don't then oh well. Uh, but for right now I think I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna go um, put pieces of paper in everyone's mailbox saying hey go get bones and arrows. Also um, not today because I'm kind of dead inside from this project. But I'm thinking about adding an arrow going into the side of the bone. Alright, so instead of paper, I actually use uh, bone blocks. But I gave one to everyone. Um, I hate it when people put stuff in my mail to advertise, but I'm doing it now, so I guess I can't complain. 
Uh, if you guys hate it, uh, then I'm I'm sorry. I'm I, I already did it. I already did it. So not not much I can do now. Um, but what, what what else do we want to do in this episode? That's the question. Or do we even have time? Well, this looks interesting. I've always seen this building. It was made pretty recent. Not recently. It's pr made pretty close to the beginning, I think. Um, but I actually never stopped to check out what it was until now. Uh, turns out Sabrina actually made this little fun tournament where you basically join a team and you try to kill as many, um, as many of the, the, the guys, the, the pillagers, the pillagers as you can. And each drop is worth a different, um, amount of points. Basically, whoever kills the most, uh, with their team is crowned the gods of, the gods of, the gods of something. Uh, yeah, I should have read this up closer. Gods of the raid. That that's what you'll be crowned. Um, so I'm I'm down to do this. Um, there's two different clans that I can join. Don't know whose is who. I'm gonna look through the books and try to find out. So we can either join uh, Shadow Gods, which is Ivy Beaston, or sorry, mind, the Mind Fighter, as he is now known as, or we can join Petals of Grace. Two very different clans. This one's run by Sabrina. Um, and I'm sorry, Mind Fighter, you're great, I love you, but Petals of Grace just sounds a little bit more my type. Uh, so let's go right here and sign our name, and let's put it back on in here. And now if we see a pillager, we have to kill it on s- oh, that gave me a mini heart attack. Hi there. Uh, we have to kill it on site and collect this drop, so we'll have a different chest for, uh, the new pillagers that we get. But sadly guys, that's all we have time for today. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the future video. Goodbye!